My sister rescued some rabbits a couple of days ago from a fur farm. Now look how gorgeous this little radiated tortoise is. Let's see if we can feed one of these. I t oh, 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 oh yeah, look at that. Hello, I'm Hannah. No speak English, no filming, oh, por favor. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No f Guys, this is so pitiful. These are two little baby bunnies. Who would ever want to use these for fur? What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day and I just walked into a spider web. I hope all of you are having just an absolutely amazing day and for today's video we are actually going to be letting these little rescued rabbits that my sister actually rescued. They're these fur farm rabbits. So basically wait, there's a spider web there. We're not, we're not gonna go that way. My sister rescued some rabbits a couple of days ago from a fur farm. It was some lady that had some rabbits. This lady that had these rabbits was either going to cook them or actually skin them and actually make some sort of products. Really, really sick and just not okay. So my sister rescued these rabbits. Today with those little baby rescued rabbits, we are actually going to be doing a whole bunch of cool stuff with them. I'm going to be introducing them to all of you. We're going to let them free roam the backyard, get to know the backyard just a little bit. Now before I jump into these little baby rabbits and introduce them to all of you, I've got a couple of updates I've got to show everyone from around the house. The very first update that I'm going to give all of you is on my little baby tortoises that got their legs unfortunately chewed off by rats. Everyone's been asking how they're doing, so we're going to jump right into that update now. And here they are. These are the radiated tortoises that got their legs chewed. Well, not all of them. This guy wasn't even here. It is this one right here. So I'm going to give you an update on them, show you how they're doing. They're doing absolutely well. So I don't know if you guys can see right there. There is some scarring right there on the legs. Now I'm going to put a picture right now to the left. Take a look at that picture and then now take a look at his legs. The picture to the left is right when her legs actually got chewed. So right now they're just looking a whole lot better. You're looking good. You could see right there where it still is not perfect, but it is still a lot better. I wasn't sure if she was going to make it, but she is doing just absolutely amazing. Now look how gorgeous this little radiated tortoise is. For those that are new to the channel, these are radiated tortoises. They are a critically endangered species of tortoise from Madagascar, and they're critically endangered due to poaching and all kinds of bad stuff. People actually try to eat these, which is so, so sad. We've got the little baby right here. And then this is what a one that's a little bit bigger. That's what they look like. So this little baby right here is one day going to be the size of this one. You can see just the size difference. And this one is not even full grown. This one's only about three years old. Here you go, little buddy. There you go. Enjoy your meal. And I want to show you this one right here. This one also had its legs chewed, but just a little bit. So you guys can see kind of where it was chewed, but it is not bad at all. And you can see just how different their patterns are. No two radiated tortoises have the same shell pattern. And now that all of you got in update on the little radiated tortoises that had their legs chewed. We've got to go out to the backyard and feed the adult redfoots. And the next update I've got to give all of you is on my adult redfoot tortoises. It is feeding time right now and well these guys are going crazy. I feed the redfoot tortoise the adults every other day and you can see that they are active and that they know it's feeding time. So for everyone that's new to the channel, if you guys have been watching the channel for a couple videos, you've seen the baby redfoot tortoises. Well these are the parents. So the mothers to the tortoises that's one of the reproductive females that's another one there that's another one there that's one of my breeder males right there how you doing big guy and we have one more breeder female she's in here somewhere so these guys know exactly when feeding time is now it's pretty crazy that they do know that so many people think that reptiles like tortoises are dumb and stupid but they are actually quite smart they know exactly when feeding time is every other day and you can see they're active and out so let's get to it so what we have in here for them is we have some mixed greens we have mushrooms we have some fruit we have got all kinds of good stuff and we're literally just going to take this and well i'm just going to kind of dump it yeah let's see oh my gosh look at that right there now, for the most part, I try not to feed them on the mulch, but with these larger tortoises, you know, I have actually never had an issue with impaction. So what we got for them here today is we've got some greens, we've got mushrooms, blueberries, and tomatoes. In order to ensure that these tortoises live a happy and healthy life, we got to give them a good variety of foods. So what in the heck is this guy doing? Look at him. This guy right here is shaking back and forth. He's like scratching his shell on the bottom of the mulch right here, bro. What are you doing? Let's see if we can feed one of these. I took a tomato on a piece of mulch right here. And let's see if this girl right here, let's see if she wants to eat some. Hey, you want this? You want this? Hey. No. Oh, 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 oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that's good, that's some good stuff. Feeding tortoises 
tomatoes on a stick. Now, a lot of people don't think these animals have personalities, but red foot tortoises are actually one of the most personable tortoises. They love to be pet. They love to get fed. I mean, whenever I walk out here, oh my gosh, one of them just splattered me in the eye with a tomato juice. I literally just looked down at the bucket and realized there is a whole bunch more of mushrooms that we actually didn't even feed out. So we're just gonna take the mushrooms, drop them right there. We're gonna take some more right there. And actually, let's just take this. We're just gonna kind of put it right there on the rest. So you guys have fun with your meal, you enjoy it. And now that all of you got to see some updates from around the house, I want to show all of you the footage of when my sister actually rescued these fur farm rabbits. It is so, so sad that someone had such evil plans for these rabbits. So before I actually bring them out and introduce them to all of you. I want to show all of you that footage now. Hello, I'm Hannah. No speaking English, no filming. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No Guys, this is so pitiful. These are two little baby bunnies. One is black and one is gray. Who would ever want to use these for fur? I mean, they're super fluffy and just adorable. Just look how cute, guys. I, I, oh, oh. Who would ever want to hurt you? Oh my goodness, I'm going to put you down, buddy. I don't want to scare you right now. I'm going to get you home, okay? You're safe now, guys. Oh, hi, buddy. Hi, I'm sorry. I saved you. Guys, these look like lion heads to me. I've had bunnies in the past, and I had an angora bunny, and I've had three lion heads, and it looks like to me that they are lion head bunnies, but I want to get them home, and I'm going to check them out to, you know, make sure they're safe and sound. How insane was that footage right there? I mean, it is just sickening to me that people are just so, so terrible. So now that you guys saw the footage of when they were rescued, we've had them here a couple days. They've been established. They're eating well. They're doing great. So I'm going to go run inside right now, grab them, and bring them outside. One minute, 37 seconds later. And here they are. These are the rescued fur farm rabbits. They're just here walking around. We have one that's black, and then we have this little gray one. So guys, go right now and comment down below which one is your favorite. So we have these guys out here actually just enjoying the sun, grazing on the grass. We've got some strawberries and blueberries, and you can see that this little guy is just absolutely enjoying it. He's munching away. And then this one right here, the little black one, is just munching away on the grass. Is that some good grass, buddy? You wanna come here? These guys are just so absolutely adorable to watch them walk around. And as far as food goes, we have some alfalfa hay that we always keep in the cage at all times, and we also have some young rabbit food. Oxbow is one of the best brands for rabbit food, actually, because it doesn't have a bunch of nasty, unhealthy ingredients. It's very, very good for them. So I just wanted to show all of you what we feed them as far as their staple diet, which is the alfalfa hay and the young rabbit food. And these guys are just enjoying their time here in the yard. Now, you guys got to see them when we rescued them, and I am so happy that we have them out here in the yard, able to free roam, hop around, and do things like rabbits should. Rabbits should have a lot of free roam space. And we've got hills right here. These hills help with the exercise. Now guys, stop what you're doing, and I want you to go comment down below a name for these two little rabbits. I mean, these two rabbits are just absolutely adorable. So this one right here is the little gray one, and that one seems to be the most active. He just loves to hop around, go up on the hills, and giving them these hills and all these areas is just absolutely amazing exercise. We also let them graze on the grass. This grass right here, we don't spray any pesticides, fertilizer, none of that stuff, because we have all the tortoises, but I mean, this little guy is so tiny and so, so cute. I mean, these little rabbits are just so, so sweet. This is the little gray one. He's just sitting here letting me pet him. He's just having a good time. The black one is over there, and that's the little carrying case that I actually brought them out in. Hi, Bubba. How you doing, little guy? You are so, so cute. Look at you. I am just so, so glad that we were able to rescue these two little rabbits from the fur farm. Whatever this lady was going to do to them, it was not good at all. Hi there, little one. I mean, just look at the pattern on this one. This one is just absolutely gorgeous. Now, if you guys are going to think about getting a pet rabbit, please make sure you give them plenty of free roam space. You give them a good diet because a lot of times rabbits do not live good lives because people are not trying to be mean to them or give them a bad life. It's just they're uneducated and a lot of places don't give you the right education on little rabbits. Hey little guy, you want a strawberry? Here, you want a piece? These little guys seem to like strawberries, but I think he's more interested in exploring the yard. So all along the border of our yard, we put this right here to keep pests out as well as keep animals in. It is just so, so awesome to watch these animals free roam and watch their natural instincts take over. Watching this little guy from a distance just hang out in the shade, eat weeds is just absolutely amazing. Look at this guy, he's just sprawled out 
relax and having a good time and that's what we want our animals to do we want them to live the most natural life as possible as if they were in the wild now obviously they're not in the wild but we can kind of mimic that and give them free roam space, give them all different areas. Because the best enrichment that you can give any animal in captivity is new sights, sounds, and smells. All right, kiddos, playtime is over. These little rabbits have been playing out for about 45 minutes. I mean, they are just some of the sweetest rabbits ever. This one, black one is so, so cute. Now again, go comment down below if you have not already, which rabbit is your favorite? Do you like the black one or do you like the gray one? I wanna know which one is your favorite. You kiddos did just absolutely amazing today, playing outside in the yard, having a good time. They look nice and hot, so we're gonna take these two right here back inside into the air conditioning and into their habitat. And that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching the introduction of the Little Rescue Rabbits to everything here at the house. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to go give this video a thumbs up and go comment down below what you thought of us rescuing these rabbits. Guys, I am so extremely allergic to these rabbits right now. So if I look a little different, um, my eyes are itchy. I'm sneezing real bad. I am going to hop off. I need to hop into the shower and rinse all this rabbit fur off of me because, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty miserable right now. Guys, if it is your first time on the channel and you guys are not subscribed already well what are you waiting for go right down below hit that subscribe button and tap that little notification bell and you will be notified whenever i post